Welcome back to another college matchup between Pac-12 rivals, the Oregon Ducks, and the Colorado Buffaloes. We're going to have Bo Nix, Dan Lanning, and the Oregon Ducks, and Coach Prime, and Shadur Sanders, and unfortunately, no Travis Hunter because of his injury at Autzen Stadium in Eugene, Oregon. This will be a huge matchup and one of the biggest conference play matchups of this week. There's also going to be Wazoo versus OSU, but that should be a fun matchup as well. Let's see who will come out victorious. Let me know in the comments below who do you guys think will win in real life, and what do you guys think the score will be. Jadir Sanders and company will get the ball on the first drive, and on third and nine, they get it to fourth and inches but they are deep within their own territory at the 35 so they will be punting it off to Bo Nix and the Oregon Ducks offense and on first down looks like Bo Nix and the offense will give it to Bucky Irving who finds some space on the right hand side of the field and rushes for 11 yards and a first down right there Colorado's defense hold the Oregon Ducks to a third and seven and Bo Nix cannot complete the pass and almost throws an interception to Omarion Cooper and with that both offenses go and punt on the first drive of the game and the Colorado offense get the ball deep in their own territory and on first down Shadur Sanders has a lot of time and passes it to Jimmy Horn for 13 yard reception and a first down making it to the 18 and not within their own 10 in the near the end zone and right around midfield on third and five Shadur Sanders sees the pressure and dumps it off to his running back McCaskill who makes some defenders miss and gets eight yards there and a first down finally going into Oregon territory at the 42. And on third and five Shadur Sanders gets the ball out of the pocket tries to escape it and fumbles the ball but Landon Beebe of the offensive line recovers and makes it a fourth down and end of the first quarter and we're tied at zero and zero. And Coach Prime decides to go for the field goal as they are within the 35 yard line and the kicker is no problem and easily gets the three points for Colorado. And on first down, Bo Nix has some time in the pocket and waits for his Ferguson to get in the open. And there is a 26-yard reception near the midfield and easily a first down for the Oregon Ducks offense. And they are looking to respond quickly after Colorado got the field goal. And on third and eight, the Oregon Ducks have to convert to keep their drive alive. And Bo Nix easily gets it to Troy Franklin for a 18-yard reception and a first down. What a great response by Bo Nix right there to get his receiver in the open right there. And they are within the 35-yard line of their territory and within field goal range. And on second and 10, Bo Nix has a clean pocket and gets it over the defender and to his receiver Cam McCormick for a 18 yard reception right there. That was a dangerous throw but Bo Nix throws it perfectly and gains some huge yardage in the air making the Oregon Ducks go into the red zone at the 13 yard line. And on first and 10, Bo Nix has some time in the pocket and waits for Coda to get open wide in the middle. And he completes the pass for a touchdown right there. A 13-yard reception to Coda. And the Oregon Ducks take a 7-3 lead over the Colorado Buffaloes with 2.42 remaining in the second quarter. And the Oregon Duck is happy right there celebrating. And on third and inches... Looks like the Colorado Buffaloes are trying to score before the end of the half and Sanders gets it to Hankerson for a 4-yard reception at the 39-yard line. 
It is now a third and two for Sanders, and they give it to their fullback, Faria, who gets six yards and the first down into Oregon Ducks territory right there. And the Colorado Buffaloes are celebrating. And now it is third and ten with 50 seconds remaining in the second quarter. Shadir Sanders tries to air it out to his receiver number 10 right there. But the pass falls incomplete. And this will force the Colorado Buffaloes to punt. And Oregon has three timeouts. So they are looking to score before the end of the half. And on first down, Bo Nix has a nice clean pocket and quickly gets it to his receiver, Ferguson, for a 14-yard reception and a first down. And rather than using a timeout, looks like the Oregon Ducks are trying to go hurry up offense. And Bo Nix is getting his offense together and snaps the ball really quickly and has McCormick open in the slot and gets it to his tight end for a 25-yard reception as they enter Colorado Buffs territory at the 40-yard line. And they decide to use a timeout right there and regather the offense to try and put this drive together before the end of the half as they have 32 seconds remaining. Nick snaps the ball and once again gets McCormick in the slot for another 18 yards. And this time they decide not to use a timeout and try to go hurry up offense. And they do not lose much time as it's a first down and Nick snaps the ball real quick. And once again gets it to McCormick. This drive was all about Bo Nix getting it to McCormick and putting the defense on their feet. That was at least 60 to 80 yards of Bo Nix to McCormick on this drive. What a great job by the Oregon Ducks offense to drive the ball in less than a minute. Almost just 30 seconds. That is crazy to think. And the Oregon Ducks take a 14-3 lead over the Colorado Buffaloes with 22 seconds remaining in the first half. And the Ducks mascot has to do some push-ups. That's what we like to see. The Oregon Ducks get the ball to start off this half. And on this drive, he gets it to Franklin for a 14-yard reception. And the Oregon Ducks are now in Colorado Buffs territory at the 36. And they are really close to field goal range. And on first and 10, the Ducks give the ball to their running back, Whittington. And he breaks the tackle right there and gains 11 yards and makes it first and goal for the Oregon Ducks offense right there and we have an injured player but it looks like he'll be good to go so it looks like the coach will put him back in and on third and goal the Ducks are at the one and Bo Nix does the quarterback sneak and gets into the end zone no problem great job by the O-line and a great drive capped off with a touchdown for the Ducks as they take a 21-3 lead over the Colorado Buffaloes with 113 left in the third quarter. And on first and 10, Shadur Sanders has a play action pass and tries to get it in triple coverage. And it gets picked off by Bridges, the Oregon cornerback right there. That is a pass that Shadur Sanders wishes he could take back as it was triple coverage and the corner cuts under the receiver to get to the ball and with that interception that is the end of the third quarter and the Oregon Ducks lead the Colorado Buffaloes with possession 21-3 and on third and four Bo Nix gives it to his receiver Bucky Irving and he finds the outside and unfortunately runs into his own teammate but he gains 15 yards and a first down and keeps the Oregon drive alive and continues to run the clock down and right on the next play Bucky Irving gets the ball once again and rushes for 10 and a first down and the Oregon Ducks will continue to run the clock down as they are now on the Buffalo's 22 yard line wonder if coach prime will decide to use any of his timeouts here and a third and one opportunity here and Bucky Irving rushes for four and gets the first down. It is now first and goal for the Ducks at the nine with 23 seconds remaining in the game. And I'm not so sure Coach Prime will use any timeout. So it looks like the Oregon Ducks can go in victory formation 
and kneel the ball and looks like that's what they will do but they probably won't even have to do that as the clock will run down to zero and with that the Oregon Ducks beat the Colorado Buffaloes and Coach Prime 21 to 3. Let me know in the comments below what do you guys think the actual score of this game will be and who do you think will win. If you like this type of content like and subscribe because it really helps the channel out and we'll be covering college football all season long. Should be a fun one to watch. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you in the next one. Take care.